Alrighty, Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul press conference, two highlights by Excellent MMA. Let's just check this out. I don't know much about boxing. I know a lot about MMA and the title or the freaking channel name is MMA. So let's just see what happens. Let's, I'll just, we'll just go over what the hell happens in this goddamn mess. <laughs> hey Dallas, shut the fuck up. Y'all keep booing. I'm gonna keep doing. Bunch of bitches. That's how y'all wanna do it. Let's fucking do it. We're already off to a great start. Good job, Jake. I've said this a lot in my other videos. Uh, respect doesn't mean anything. You think the crowd respects Jake? Jake Paul? Mr. Thumbhead? Mr. Goddamn Meat Rectangle? No, it doesn't. Obviously, it clearly doesn't if he's the goddamn person who had all this stuff come together. If he's the freaking headliner of the, the card, it's like, he makes money moves and that's what determines whether or not the people around him make moves on his behalf. So, all right, let's just keep going. I'm trying to, let's try not to trail, but if we come across some interesting subject matter, let's fucking discuss it. Keep booing, I keep doing. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm gonna finish him. Yeah, come on, fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck Jake Paul. Fuck, fuck Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. I like fuck that shit, Jake yeah. Hey, I hope y'all keep that same energy when I knock this old man the fuck out. Mike Tyson is risking serious injury against a powerful 27-year-old who is in his prime. What do you say to that? I don't know if he's in his prime. He's fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. But also, like... As a boxer, you're always risking serious injury when going into the ring. Did you know that boxing is technically more dangerous than MMA? Because MMA is mixed martial arts, it's everything. You could finish a fight by submission, by a, you know, knockout and everything else. And of course, getting kicked in the head is probably going to have much more power than getting punched in the head, but there's more variables added to it. Punching is incessant head blows, and exclusively, almost exclusively head blows. Unless you get uh, knock someone out with like a liver punch or something. But not just that, but the training for boxing versus MMA, right? You have to encapsulate everything when it comes to MMA versus boxing, which is the punching, which is constant impact. So I don't know what's more dangerous about Jake Paul versus any of the other people that he's ever gone up against and has been knocked out by. The damage is already there. In terms of who I think would win this, I mean, unless it's rigged, which anything that Jake Paul touches could be pretty slimy, but let's say it's not and it's like, skill versus skill tyson just given his his power and his speed and his size because he's more of a condensed power which can be way more explosive <laughs> that's what i hope and i think that's what everyone hope, else hopes happens is he knocks jake paul out and not just a clammy ass decision we, people want to see blood they want to see violence we're humans man it's part of us <laughs> i saw him with his shirt off though that he's fat i thought did you start training already? Hey, Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. <laughs> I'm better, I'm you're, better. No, and I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna end you quicker than he did. And, and you'll remember that forever. You okay. started me off, I appreciate that, Mike. I love you, I love you. Like a father loves his son, but I must <laughs> discipline you. You're going down, old man. Okay, I love you too. <laughs> Mike, a number of people say when they talk about this fight, they say if Mike Tyson doesn't get Jake Paul early and get him out of there early, there's no way he can go all eight rounds and win this fight. What do you say to that? Okay, whatever. I, it's hard to even really be... Uh, he's not going to win. Look, he couldn't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How's he gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock those little guys. How's he gonna knock me out? Jake? No response. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, he always tends to just go after MMA guys who aren't as well versed in the boxing sphere. And he wins against those guys. He chooses his opponents properly. He pads his, uh, his resume, which resume, heavy quotes, if those are the people that you're going up against instead of actual trained boxers, which <clears throat> didn't he go up against the boxer, right? The Wilder kid, the other Wilder, or the Fury, not Wilder, Fury, something Fury, I don't know his name. 
And then he lost from decision because, like, in that. Isn't that... I don't know. Will we watch it? I'm not going to watch it in, like, a fashion that's, like, going to give them money. So might as well watch highlights after it comes out. Don't don't pay for this. It's, it's on Netflix, though, so they're already probably getting their pay their, their money. So it's a different platform of which they're streaming. Eh, whatever. Majority of your fights, we've certainly seen the power on display. Who, who did he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. He's questioning your power, Jake. He's saying you haven't knocked out a legitimate fighter of his elk. He didn't knock out, he didn't knock out um, Tommy Fair Fury. In fact, he lost to Tommy Fury by decision. <laughs> Someone who's a little bit more matched when it comes to their uh, stature. Hey man, it's all about money. You can't really be surprised when you see weird shit like this because it's just, it's people trying to make cash at the expense, or you know, at the expense of people's attention. Trying to curate people's people's eyes, and it's gonna work, man. It always works for these people, so can't really be surprised whatever we come across, right? Maybe the most surprising part will be the actual exhibition itself, but maybe not. I've seen many other times where it's just mindless nonsense, right? It's just people <laughs> stop it, stop, and then they just coast to us to a decision. It's like, you really think like the emotional damage of, or like the emotional setback, quote unquote, <clears throat> of losing in one of these exhibitions really outweighs the, the payout at the end of the day. It's like, come on, you have a single night of humiliation if you do lose, and then you have however long afterwards, which the money lasts and you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> Guys, judge the stuff that happens behind, behind the scenes. Judge what, what, what incentives and where those things are directed at as a reflection of people's priorities like that, that that's way more telling than the, the 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 show that they display to everyone when we're at things like this like these press conferences your response to that jake hey look he's right i i, I can't stand here and say i did those things but what i promised to the people is on july 20th mike will be put to sleep and he will feel my power and i will go down as the man who put tyson to sleep for the last time Dude, it's like every fighter and everything everywhere says this. I'm a fighter. I'm going to fight this other fighter and I'm going to I'm going to knock him out. I'm a fighter. On this day and this night when we get together, I'm going to fight him. That's how you know, right? I promise you. It's the same thing. <laughs> this is probably one of the more entertaining parts of it. Hopefully the actual fights are entertaining, but I don't know. Whatever. Mike, let me ask you this. For the 200 million who will be watching this fight around the world, well over 80,000 people that will be in AT&T Stadium, what can you guarantee these people they will get on July 20th when you step in the ring hey, listen, with Jake Paul? Listen, we're here. We did enough talk and I'm ready to fight. Jake Paul, same question. For these people who come out, they're gonna pay their hard-earned money to AT&T Stadium. They're gonna to get to see you, Mike Tyson, Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, H2O Sill. What can you guarantee they're gonna get for their money on July 20th? They pay, they're gonna pay you their hard-earned money so it becomes easy-earned money for you. Where you step into a ring for what, 30 minutes? Just do some punching? And then you receive more money than like all of those people who are giving you their money to watch you fight that they make in probably maybe five or 10 years. All of that hard earned money. I, I can't put quotes on hard earned because it probably is hard earned because these people are actual like the common folk who actually work jobs and make money through their labor versus people like this who found a way to game the system, the system that was designed to be gamed, to be exploited. And then it's just going to go in their pockets with very little effort. Things aren't where they should be. Things go where people push them. And money, making money is a game. And these people are playing the game. They're, they've just, it's crazy, man. That's why when everyone, everyone always jerks off about hard work, it's like, that doesn't mean shit. Just make money. That's the only thing anyone ever cares about. That's the only thing people are ever going to look at. 
to judge you based off of. It's, it's, yeah, it's a vain, superficial species. The gods sent us for a war of the ages. And I respect Mike, he's a legend, but it's time. It's my time now. There's a reason why I have the same birthday as Custom Motto, because I'm going to teach you how to fucking box, Mike. Okay. It's kind of cringe. <laughs> They're really trying to hype it up. Just these words. They're all saying the same thing over and over again. It's just like long-winded, like, threats. Jake, what's your opinion? I'm going to beat him up. Other guy, what's your opinion? In this case, Mike Tyson, because you know, it's whoever any of these people are fighting at the time. This happens with any fighter, apply it universally. One fighter, what's your opinion? I'm gonna beat this guy up. Other fighter, what's your opinion? I'm gonna beat this guy up. First fighter, what's your opinion? I'm gonna go in there, I'm training, and I know that I'm better, and I'm gonna beat him up. Second fighter, oh, I know that's not true. I'm better than this guy, and I'm gonna fight him and I'm gonna beat him up. It's, <laughs> where else do you go other than just that? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Folks, that's the main event. I can't even get mad at this guy because everybody knows this guy's talking out of his ass. <laughs> I can't even get mad at this guy. What is one thing people don't know about you? Mike, what is one thing people don't know about you? None of their fucking business. <laughs> I want to kiss Mike's big juicy lips. <laughs> where, did, where did that come from? Why? What's with the homosexual undertones? Why is there so much? I'm going to be your daddy. I'm going to discipline you. I'm going to make love to you tonight. What the fuck is going on here, guys? It's a weird ass. Pseudo masculine. I don't care, man. That stuff's just funny. I'm not one of those people who are insecure like that. But clearly these guys aren't if they're saying this shit. Come, on, come over here and kiss me on my warm, hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. He wanted to kiss me? <laughs> he said he Indeed. To kiss you. Huh? He said he wanted to kiss you. That's so ironic that he said that because I saw a picture of him dancing at... 16 doing a little dance on yeah. YouTube, and for some reason I had a reject uh, erection. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's gay? When I saw you dancing, it made me horde. <laughs> this is fucking great. This is awesome. <laughs> this is the best part of the whole thing. Just them making very just gay remarks towards each other. It's all love, baby. You want to kiss me on my mouth? Oh yeah, well I'll suck the shit out of your dick. Get him, Mike. <laughs> How you doing, man? So, you're Iron Mike, man. The baddest man on the planet. How's this fight gonna go, man? With the, against this Disney kid. You're all asking the same fucking thing. They're gonna give you the same fucking answer, but it did just a slightly worded differently. Slightly. God damn it, people. Fuck. People just don't get tired of the same shit, do they? Oh my god, oh my god. You're a fighter, you're gonna fight this other guy? What do you think's gonna happen in the fight? I'm gonna fight him, and I'm gonna win. Does anyone else have the same question to ask, but in a thousand different ways, so that they give you a thousand different slight variations of the same answer? Oh my god. Hey, listen, right? It was good why I lasted for Jake, okay? It was good why I lasted. I'm not gonna last much longer. You're fat, Jake. Right here. This is the schmo with the schmo zone. Question for the legend, Iron Mike Tyson. Mike, Jake Paul has aspirations to be a world championship level boxer. From what you've seen so far, will he be a world champion boxer someday? Hey, let me just be honest. He's improved a lot. Yes, he did improve a lot. But he's not going to have a good night when he fights me on July 20th. What did his ribs feel like when he touched them on Monday during the face-off? They felt pretty hard. Make up your mind, were they hard or am I fat? Well, you're fat, but you had hard muscles, okay? <laughs> but outside your muscles, you're fat. Lay off the weed. How do you respond to people who are critical about this fight taking place in the first place at all because of your differences, particularly your age? 
Well, I don't see too many people critical about it. Look at this. Ha, 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 ha. Critics, I mean. Excuse me? Critics, you know, people who? in the Tell industry. Who? Tell me who. Name us somebody. Folks. You? Who? <laughs> no, folks who say it. Thanks. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> right here in the hat. Jacob Dedimore with the ticket in Dallas. My question's for Jake. Jake, you say you want to be a serious boxer and you want to be a contender and be a title holder. So then when, at some, it, in, when in your career are you going to actually fight a contender in your weight class and not do gimmick fights? I think he just called Mike Tyson a gimmick. Mike Tyson's 58 years old or will be at the time of the fight, yes. So as much as I respect him? Mike Tyson will you and his... Him? What did you just call me again? I didn't him? call you anything. What did you call me? I didn't call you anything. It's been four years in this sport, and I've done more to it than any boxer in the history of the sport. So in due time, sir, I will be fighting for a world championship, and I will be shutting you the fuck up and making you eat your own words, just like the rest of these fucking punks. AT&T Stadium, Arlington, Texas. It will be the massive biggest event. Wow, that was dumb. We accomplished nothing here.